Have you ever wondered why it hurts so much to cry? Have you ever looked deep down inside yourself and wondered why it takes so much to show the little bit of pain inside that dwells deep inside you? Have you ever asked yourself why it seems like whenever you have to hate something, it hurts so much to release it? But whenever you do, it feels so damn good. Maybe that's because when we were bred into this world, the hate that dwells inside of us was meant to be released so that we could feel this pleasure and endeavor our minds. Never has it been indwelled inside us all so much that when we finally do release this this inner dwellings inside of us all that we never know until we have finally devoured this pain that severs into our final bones impeaking our minds until we finally release it maybe that's because we never have known how to do this by these lies that are told to us all these lies of how we look up into the sky for our answers when our problems are inside of us all we could fix anything that is wrong with us simply by asking ourselves why we are being told what we should do and why we're not doing what we should do on our very own we rely on the answers of others whom we cannot even repose to acknowledge at any given moment we tell ourselves that we have to listen to something that doesn't even exist when we should have our own opinions our own minds our own salvation to devour our own independence but why is it so hard to endeavor our own minds it's because all we have to do is set aside the love that we tell ourselves we have to find in and embrace our inner hate because we hate our bosses we hate our neighbors we even hate our friends that we say we love the only reason that we say we love these people is because we're too afraid to show them how much we hate them but if we just let out this hate in any simple way it would really really show just how much we really have inside of us this hate that we dwell inside our minds and inside our souls is the hate that we have in each and every one of us that we set away because someone will not let it out and we're having to dwell inside of us until it blood just dwells so hard that we're not able to release it whenever we need to so why are we keeping this inside of us when we could just let it out and get it on and over with why are we having to sit around and wait for these moments when we could just let it dwell out, dwindle into the open and release our inner adversities to the people who deserve to know what we feel inside? Hate drives all of us. If it didn't, then how will we get to where we are today? How will we have the evils in the past that the good has come by and overcome we wouldn't have it hate dwells inside of all of us think about the good people that make it and everyone's like oh hey this guy really is something this guy he dwells he makes words come out of his mouth that we all praise and love him for it because of the good that he spreads upon us all well didn't it take something to get him there think about it he had to have hate for the person that was the you know making the great evils even exist in the beginning to begin with so that hate that the good even has is what drove him 
to become the conqueror of this situation that he made. Hate. It's what inside of us all. Even the good that conquer this world have hate. The hate that drives them is what brings them to the point that they are in now. If you don't have this, then what do you have? I'll tell you. Not a damn thing. So, don't worry about what someone does that you fear. Worry about why they do it. Don't rise above or eliminate the hate. Embrace it.